Hey, what's going on guys? Krosama here. And I'm finally doing this series once again. I really, really want to try and keep myself uh, motivated and driven uh, to just get these videos out. That's pretty much the bottom line. Uh, but since we have a new event, I was like, you know what? Today is a new weekly event. I'm just going to go ahead and jump on that. And we're going to just take a look. We're going to take a look at the banners. We're going to take a look at the event, the mobile suits and everything. Uh, we won't go into a deep dive because I, I really want to save that for an analysis video. Uh, but we could still take a look at some stuff. Now before moving forward, I do want to mention that there is a Discord server down below. Uh, it is targeted towards uh, Gunpla Battle, Gunpla Warfare. It's not my personal one, uh, but it is a really good group. So I do encourage you, if you have Discord, or even if you don't have Discord, uh, you know, I encourage you to download it and get to that server because it's going to be really good to just in, you know interact with other people that is a part of this community, and we would definitely like to grow it uh, to a really big size. Not too large. I don't want like you know. I don't think 700 people would be uh, ideal. But if we can get into a really good, decent size to where you know every single day we're having engaging, um, you know, conversations and just you know talking about our bills and everything, I think that's going to be super wonderful. So uh, go ahead and check it out down below. Now, if you're looking to pick up some Gundam kits, you can go down in the description below to NewTypeHQ.com. Use promo code Krosama so that we can get 10% off. And don't forget, the Master Grade Barbados is in stock, so you can go ahead and pick up one of those right in time for the holidays. Okay, so jumping right into this, uh, we do have a Troopers Blue Spirit. Uh, there was a previous, um, like, you know, daily login. You've probably already seen it. Um, so they had a couple of things in there that's actually really good. Uh, for this one, we are getting some capsule medals. We're getting some premium capsule medals. Eh, it's okay. Now we also have the Christmas login bonus. I'm gonna go ahead and take a screenshot of that. Pretty good stuff. We have some Haro chips. You know, we got some capital, some energy recovery, which I'm all about. Um, yeah, I'm pretty much all about like the Awakening Circuit, the Haro chips, the capital. Uh, we got some standard, you know, tickets. Hey, that's all some really good stuff. Okay, so here we're gonna be checking out a Troopers Blue Spirit. Um, it is going to be the Goof Custom, so that's pretty good. Um, we're gonna have different mobile suits that we can use, which we will check out. Uh, we're actually gonna do the Dropbox and check out exactly what parts we can use. Um, but yeah, it says uh, equip the multiplayer uh, multiplier parts. You can go all the way up to a thousand percent. That is ridiculous. Uh, but clear event missions to get Trooper coins, which is you know standard. Uh, and then you get some rewards. All right, so we're gonna go down. Obviously, it's gonna be finished next week. Uh, event details. There's nothing much going on. It's the same kind of thing we've uh, seen before. They got the Goof Custom, which is a three star. Clear missions. All right, let's check out the Gunpla parts. Providence. We'll we'll check that out over in the uh, banner. And we're gonna have the uh, full full Verner. I think that's how I pronounce it. The the GP01 full Verner. Mm, I mean, I like that mobile suit. I love 0083, but ah, uh, man, I'm just not feeling it. I don't know why. You got the GPO2, uh, GPO3. Let's see, the Goof Custom, obviously. Uh, Kyrios, which is a 15%, so I'll be uh, I'll be able to use that one. Uh, GM Custom, that's crazy. Uh, Dom Tropin, and the Gabera Terra. So we got that. Uh, yeah, we pretty much have most of these, I think, except for the GM Custom. We don't have the Dom. But we could definitely use the uh, Gabera, we can use the um, Kyrios, and the Goof Custom. Uh, I don't think I have any of the other parts, unfortunately, and yeah. And then we got some pilots we can use, so really cool. Uh, but yeah, that's just basically multiplier parts of a thousand. Gotta do some missions, some EX, uh, get achievement. Let's see, we got the Scenario Battle 1, Restrictions. Your and Ally Gumpas must be Power Attribute. Okay, easy enough. Uh, for scenario battle two, everything battle once again. So, okay, you cannot use any relief gunpla. This is like all standard stuff, so we're not really seeing anything uh, different. Obviously, a lot of the same kind of uh, rewards or you know things that you can purchase in the shop. You get uh, let's see achievements. It's probably all the same stuff. So, not really seeing anything in the event capsules. You can get gunpla parts like uh, F91. Oh, okay, gotcha. Sweet, so the Buster and the F91 is coming back, apparently. We've got the Premium. Yeah, all looking good. I think, uh, so what I decided is, like, when I get, um, you know, the 8 Premium Material, you know, Dust or whatever, um, I was really thinking, do I go, do I want to go for something I don't have? Uh, the only thing I really want to get now, because I have my Shining Complete, um, I think I want to go for Barbados 6 form. I think that's really, really what I want to go with. Um, now, obviously, I can save it. I can just save all this dust 
and eventually when something does come out that I don't, you know, 100% complete, maybe like a Barbados Lupus, a Bar uh, Barbados Lupus Rex, I can complete that. Or I can actually start uh, building up a solid mobile suit, uh, such as maybe finish up Barbados. It's already gold. I have a fully gold Barbados. I can, I can make it just 100%, like level 10 everything. It'd be the, the best in-fighter melee suit ever. Or I can actually work on one particular item, uh, such as like the Trans Am. I can work on the mace. Actually, I don't think you can get the mace. You should be able to get the mace. Um, so if I can get the mace, I can you know get a level 10 mace, and that thing is going to be doing massive amount of damage, massive. So that's all I'm really seeing. Uh, campaign period, and we got the exchange shop. So that's about it. We got the Christmas uh, Christmas login bonus, and that's just showing you everything. And, of course, we have the new capsules, which, like I mentioned, Providence and the GPO-1. I don't know. We got some F-91 pilot right there. I uh, don't know who the other one is, but we do have F-91 repping it in the house. So, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and uh, let's check out some stuff. All right, so I decided I'm just going to do uh, one pull on the banner, see if I can get lucky. And, of course, I don't get lucky. I'm not I'm not that lucky. Yeah, nothing good. So, that was a, that was a waste. Uh, anyways, we do have the Providence. Um, uh, probably nothing really too interesting. I'm not going to sit here and go through every single part. Um, long shooter job. So, power reduce. That's interesting. Uh, composite uh, arms shield system. Okay. Looks pretty decent. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to look. I mean, y'all can look through all this. Uh, just kind of like glancing through it. Long shot raised. Okay. That's pretty good. Dragoon system, so we have more funnels. Uh, I don't know how, I mean, it looks like it's pretty good. It looks like it's pretty much on par with the new Gundam. I could be wrong. Uh, we got special shot power boost at 30%. Head mounted, we gotta look at that. Um, combat stance up. What? Oh, the whole squad by 39%. That is good. That is a good body. Actually, I wish I, I really wish I had that body. <laughs> it's a power attribute as well. Oh man, that's actually really good. Uh, enemy melee power reduce. That's pretty good. Whoops. No, no. I'm not spending any more hard chips this uh, this little event. AX skill cooldown reduce. That's pretty good. Usually the initial one is the one I would rather go to because I want to finish the battle as soon as possible. Uh, universal uh, boost pod. So it's basically like a Trans Am almost. Not I'm, I, I say Trans Am. I, you know you know what I mean. It's an awakening. Um, so speed, melee, that's, that's pretty much all you need. And that's pretty much it. So, yeah, uh, honestly, the, the GPL-1 looks really good, but the Providence, I don't think, looks good at all. So maybe you can go ahead and, uh, you know, try not to go for that. Obviously, it's all RNG, but, um, I think the full Vern is, it's probably something you want to go for. And next for the pilots, we have old boy, or F-91. Debuff EX skill, effect up 15%. That's not horrible. It's I mean it's a debuff and he is a defender class, so that's not that's not really bad at all. Um, veneer consumption reduced. That's horrible. Get the get out of my face. That is disgusting. Uh, we still have these weapons, the standard pickup capsules. I'm t honestly I'm not interested in any of it. I mean it's it's not bad. It's not a horrible thing because um, you do get a chance at getting some of these uh, weapons, but I'm okay without it. Event capsules. So do we even have any? I don't think we got six. Okay. So we can wait on it. Um, I'd rather just pull from the 10. I don't think there's any increase. There shouldn't be any parts increase, right? Yeah. So it's not... Actually, it really doesn't make a difference. Um, I'll pull on it later. Uh, we got the premium event capsules. We got three. Actually, let's... No, we don't. I thought we... Oh, we gotta wait. We gotta wait to get them from the, uh, the, uh, the dailies. I thought we had some. Okay. And obviously we got bonus coin capsules. We don't have, we have one, I guess. Free capsules, so let's go ahead and do our daily pull. Of course, we get trash. And of course, for the AI, trash. And for a trooper's blue spirit, I mean, you're getting basically the same kind of uh, missions. Nothing really too unique here. Not saying it's a bad thing, but yeah, you get the situation one and you get the regular missions. Okay, so for the achievements, we're actually getting some pretty good stuff. We get some premium material. Um, we're gonna get some uh, capsule medals coins we actually get the goof custom basically for free so you don't even have to spend your coins on it which is fantastic i mean if you want to max out certain parts absolutely um but yeah this thing keeps on freezing on me but looking at all the 
rewards. I mean, it's all standard stuff outside of what we've seen, uh, seen a little bit earlier. It's pretty much normal. You get your awakening right there. That's one. Uh, two from the login. And three right there. I think that's a total of three so far. But let's take a look at the shop. Okay, so here in the shop, we do have the goof. And we are going to take a look at each individual part because I want to see exactly how it is. So we're going to max it out because obviously we can easily max it out. Uh, stats so far looking super unimpressive. It is a power type. So when armor is 60% or less, recovery 10 armor gradually. That's not horrible, but that's not good. <laughs> it's definitely not good. And for the chest, eh, the armor is not horrible, but yeah, everything else kind of like lackluster. Uh, in fighter job, EX skill cooldown reduce 15%. That's not bad, to be honest, but I mean, there's definitely a lot better that you can get. Um, so, eh. And it's, and it's not the initial, it's just EX skill. So it's like you use the EX skill, and then you, you can get it faster on the next go around. Eh. Hey, we're looking at the arms. You know, they're just not good, man. Not good at all. Um, so you get executed combo with your whip, A and D. That's actually not too bad. I would like to see that combo in action when we do our analysis. Now we're looking at the legs. Actually, some really good defenses. Um, obviously, the armor is going to be really, really low, but the defenses are high, so that's actually like a good you know, balance, I guess. Uh, in fire job, close shot, attack raise 14%. Yeah, it's not, it's like Barbados. And for the backpack, we do have uh, just really good defenses once again. Uh, melee damage output boosted by 20. I don't know how well that's going to work. Now for the heat sword, eh. I mean, melee attack is pretty much what you would expect from a three star, so I'm not really going to harp on that too much. Uh, when attacking with physical, strong melee power boosted 20%. It's not, not horrible. I mean, you get a strong attack in, you get a boost. Or it is boosted when you do the attack. And now we got the heat rod. Uh, I don't know, man. Let's see, job gauge increase boosted 13%. Lackluster, super lackluster, super lackluster stats. I don't know, and even the uh, word tags. Um, honestly, I'm not, I'm not even feeling the word tags at all. And lastly, we do have the Gatling shield. So there's going to be a combination of the Gatling gun and the shield. So physical range weapon magazine boosted 20%. That's bad. Uh, I mean, I guess you can shoot more, and it combines well with each, you know, damage uh, increases by 20. So each individual shot can can get a increase by 20 uh, damage, which isn't really bad. But still, I mean, look at that shot attack. It's it's horrible. <laughs> Everything about these stats are horrible. So. Um, Really, I'm not feeling this event. Uh, I'll buy one of each just to get, you know, the complete set and get the colors. Um, but I'm definitely not golden anything from this. Uh, rest of the rewards is fine. I'll just focus on the awakening circuits. I'm, I'm pretty much saving them because I don't know what I'm trying to get later. Um, I'll try to get some capsule medals, premium capsule medals. I'll get those. Try and get the awakening circuits as well. And you can get some of these little cheap uh, body parts. Let's see what else we have. That's pretty much it, guys. So... Not seeing anything else. All right, so with that, guys, um, honestly, I was I would tell you this: the banner really isn't worth uh, pulling, in my opinion. Like, it's it's not horrible uh, when it comes to the, the uh, GPO one. I think that's a good kit, um, or a good suit, and some of the parts are actually really, you know, pretty good. If you want funnels, hey, go for the Providence. Um, look at everything else; the pilots don't look good at all. Um, the goof is really not that great, but hey, the, the thing is you want these rewards. There's a lot of good capital, a lot of good awakening chips. That's what you're going to want. You know, if anything, do this event to get all that stuff. So that way when the next event comes, you can get even more of it. And if a good part is, you know, like appearing, you can definitely gold it up in an instant and be happy. So, I mean, that's what I did with the H1 normal. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's what people do with some uh, suits. Someone's probably going to do it with the Goof Custom because they really love uh, 8th MS team. I personally love 8th MS team as well, but I don't love it enough to uh, you know invest a lot of resources into the Goof Custom. But uh, we'll take a look at the analysis. I'm going to try to do that tomorrow so that way um, before you even jump into it, you can be like, hey, which one is going to be good? But hey, I already kind of did a semi-analysis already, so take it as you will. But that's, that's going to be all for me, guys. I don't really have much else to say about this event as well as Banner. Uh, but, hey, let me know what you think in the comment section below. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.